Hello and welcome. I'm Laura Cornelius and you are watching the Global Poker League Summer Series live from Las Vegas. Yesterday was an absolutely epic day. We saw the debut of LA Sunset's wildcard and three-time Emmy Award winning Aaron Paul. He managed to beat Fabrice Soulier, manager of the Paris Aviators, two games to one heads up, men managing to take six points for Maria Ho's LA side. Today we will see the return of Dmitry Urbanovich from the Moscow Wolverine and he will be facing San Francisco Rush's Jonathan Jaffe. They will be playing here once again in the cube, stood up, three games worth three points each. The Global Poker League Summer Series starts now. Hello, my babies, and welcome to the GPL Summer Series. I am Uncle Daddy Joe Stapleton. He is Eric Danis, and we are back at it again. Damn, Daniel, back at it again with day two of the GPL Summer Series. Today we've got Dmitry Urbanovich versus Jonathan Jaffe, as we heard Laura announce just before now. Eric, we were supposed to have Phil Galfon playing today. He's not here. Care to explain? Yeah, Jonathan Jaffe has really become the, uh, the the second man in for this team for the San Francisco Rush. He's replaced on many occasions. The team is an active one, and they, they do play a lot of uh, cash games all around the world, Joe. So uh, Phil Galfon, prior commitment, won't be able to play, but did uh, swear that he'll join us in the cube very shortly. little disappointed he's not here. However, Jonathan Jaffe, quite a, uh, a great competitor to see uh, up against young man Urbanovich. I like how you're focusing on the positive. It's not that we yes. don't have Phil Galfon. It's that we do have Jonathan. Jonathan Jaffe, and Jonathan was a uh, wild card pick That's for right. the San Francisco Rush, for Oz Jock uh, managing that team. Yeah, for Oz actually admitted that he was his pick right from the start. His wild card pick was going to be uh, San Francisco, uh, Jonathan Jaffe, sorry. And Jaffe was involved in that team's, uh, you know, the philosophy of how to draft, who to draft. So right from the start, Jaffe was involved. So quite interesting to see that he was the actual first horse picked without officially being picked until later in the season. Maybe a smart move if uh, Faraz knew that Jonathan may not go in the draft. He knew he could get him later on That's as right. a wild card pick. Uh, let's focus on our other competitor here today, uh, Dmitry Urbanovich, a wonderkind, if you will, just, uh, I think he just won uh, Breakout Player of the Year at the European Poker Awards. I should know that. I handed him the trophy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was him I gave it to. I mean, he's just had, he did have an absolutely phenomenal breakout year. Uh, you said that Jonathan has played, uh, filled in a few times already. Right. Uh, Dimitri, has he played so far on he the GPL? Just a six max action the very first week, only uh, picked up a couple of points there. So I'm sure he's very, very happy to be back in the ring and uh, trying to score some more points for that team. Are any of these guys top scorers, would you say? Uh, not yet, but I do believe that in forms of talent, absolutely. These are two of the biggest stars in the league. Urbanovich, of course, the name is it goes you know, synonymous with uh, winning everything at EPT yeah. Malta just a year ago. And just uh, crazy prop bets and just 21 years old, Joe. Um, I don't think we've been ID'd anywhere here in Vegas, but he gets ID'd everywhere he goes. And he gets ID'd and he gets probably has to sign autographs as well. Right. He is, of course, repping Eurasia here, their Eurasian conference. And we do have some stats to take a look at from Eurasia. It's the London Royals who are on top right now, but not a huge margin between them and the Moscow Wolverines, which is who Dimitri is playing for uh, in this GPL. They're only five points behind. Dimitri has the potential to pick up as many as nine points today, so we could see a change here. That's right, and six points will um, put Moscow up first, and we know that Liv Boré is really committed to having her team stay and remain in, fit in first place the rest of the year, so she'll be hoping Moscow wins zero or one of the three games here. There's going to be a bit of an, an anti-sweat, I guess, uh, as far as London watching Moscow today. Let's take a look at the America's standings. And it's the Montreal Nationals. Now, we did see the LA Sunset gain a little ground yesterday as they picked up six points with Aaron Paul uh, defeating Fabrice Soulier in two out of three matches. 
Uh, so they they didn't exactly climb any places, but they did close that gap a little bit. That's right. Montreal goes uh, on Thursday. Their Heat one match on Thursday. Uh, Martin Jakobsen is in the uh, in the zone on Thursday. We we see the San Francisco Rush, Joe. We talked about it yesterday. Uh, both the Rush and the Moneymakers in really serious trouble right now. Uh, Thirteen points behind is starting to uh, is starting to be a lot of points. So I think San Francisco needs these points here. Uh, Jonathan is one in two in in heads up competition so far this year. Uh, that might be an aberration. The only issue is that the opponent today is a man who loves his poker and plays everything all the time. So it's going to be a very tough matchup for the rush today. Yeah, I mean, uh, Dmitry Ivanovich is on an absolute hot streak that seems to be lasting an infinite amount of time. We are going to hear from the man himself. He is standing by on the floor right now with Laura Cornelius. I'm now joined by Dmitry Ivanovich for the Moscow Wolverines. You've been talking about how excited you are to play in this cube. What are you most looking forward to? Uh, first of all, it's like my going to be just second match of the league because I played just one or two. Yeah. yeah, probably two. Yeah, so I'm really hungry for the game. And yeah, cube is pretty innovative stuff, you know. I'm not really sure how it works. I mean, uh, I just saw it. So uh, in when you play live, it's like you can be distracted by uh, no noise, some people walking around you, and there is just, just you see your opponent, your cards, that's it, no noise, you can hear just your opponent, yourself, and that's it. It's going to be pretty interesting. And also, you just stand, all, uh, staying all the time, not sitting though. I can warn you, you may hear some noise, some epic music, some heartbeats. Okay. It's going to add to and build up to the pressure. All right. Hopefully, you'll that's enjoy cool. that though. But I imagine extremely different to what you're used to playing in an EPT or at the World Series yeah, in, in a tournament room. That's true. Tell us a little bit about your opponent, Jonathan Jaffe. Have you ever played him before, live, online, heads up, anything? Well, uh, to be honest, I'm not sure. We might play online and we might also play live, but I'm not sure. So I don't really have much information about him. I just asked him, he told me that it was he used to be professional at heads up. I'm not. so. He got advantage probably, so we're going to see. I'm going to try to do my best. Indeed, we are going to see. Uh, we're going to talk to you later on after some of the games that you're playing. All right, all we right. expect uh, you're going to do very well. Thank you so much, Dimitri. Thank you. Back Thank to you. you, Joe, and to you, Eric. Thanks for that, Laura. And check this out, guys. Our special guest commentator today, we've got Chance Cornuth in the booth. Oh, this could work out well ah. for you. A nice little rhyming nickname for Chance's cards over here. Chance, thanks for coming in today. Thanks for being with us. Uh, tell us a little bit about your role in the GPL. You're obviously on a team. I'm on the GP, uh, GPL LA Sunset. Uh, I'm really happy to be a part of it. Maria Ho is our manager, and we got to welcome Aaron Paul to the league yesterday. And he won two of his three matches, which was just awesome to watch. I was here, uh, part of the audience, so it was just fantastic watching him have a great showing right to begin. And uh, you know that I was kind of hopeful that Maria might choose me as one of her uh, wild cards, and then I saw that she uh, picked Aaron Paul, and I couldn't really, couldn't really <laughs> falter for that choice. <laughs> Eric, what do we got to talk about here, uh, stats-wise, as we head into? Well, we got to hear from Jonathan first, but before we get into this match here, what's up? What's happening GPL-wise? Yeah, let's take a look at the uh, team scoring to have a look at how the teams have fared. We're just past the halfway mark in the season. Let's start with the the Wolverines, the mighty Wolverines, uh, Anatoly Filatov's Wolverines, and he has been doing really well for himself. He's picked up 58% of the points available to him. That's wow. 35 points in eight games. Anatoly, uh, except for the week seven, I believe, uh, that was his only blip on the radar. He's played an amazing season so far. Vladimir Troy He's only played four times, 17 points already. Andre Paticic, Sergei Lebedev, who's really ramped up his game in heads-up competition, playing really well uh, the last few weeks of the league. Igor Yaroshevsky's only played four times. And as Dimitri mentioned, he's only played the first week, so two games, uh, two matches played only. Five points there. He has yet to win a match, uh, only picking up 35% of the points available to him. That, of course, is about to change in the second half as Urbanovic will be playing more. This team, Joe, in really great shape. They're in second place in the league, and their top player, their top uh, round, their first round selection has yet to play much. So really great to shape are the Wolverines right now. Now I noticed that uh, Anatoly had played eight matches and there is a limit, right? You can only play up to 15. Is the reason why Anatoly's played so many, you know, because he's the team captain, is it sort of a bit of a scheduling thing at this point? He he sort of is available, has been most available? Yeah, in certain situations, I think EPT Monte Carlo for that team was a tough stretch. I think for a lot of teams it was. Uh, Anatoly deciding to pick up the pace for a few of the players, Troy Nomsky, for example, uh, 
you know, playing some juicy, juicy catch games down there in Monte Carlo. So a few times he might have been slotted to play. Uh, Anatoly stepped in, but also Anatoly recognized that he was uh, on a hot streak for a while there. So he actually added himself for a few more matches until that hot streak ended. So it's a bit of both. So in the second half, he'll have to be careful not to, uh, to hit that cap. How much have you played so far? Uh, I've only played three matches. Three, all, all of them have been six max, and I haven't had great showing yet, but it's still a long season. T technically, Joe, he's played two matches in one hand. He's played one <laughs> hand live from the European Awards with Dimitri Urbanovich oh, behind him. Oh, that's right. Him. I remember you asked me for the Wi-Fi password. Yeah, he, he, yeah. He, he, I wish you wouldn't have given it to me. He would have lasted longer than one hand, at least. All right, let's check out the stats for the San Francisco Rush. Yeah, the, the Rush... Definitely one of the uh, disappointments so far in the in the, you know in this young season. We're halfway through and the Russia are struggling. Anton Wig is not uh, so much, but he's played well. Faraz Jaka who's just starting to play uh, more matches. Kitty Kuo, who actually had a fantastic uh, six max win a few weeks back. The issue here, uh, Joe and Chance, is that their top three players, Anthony Gregg, Jonathan Jaffe, and Phil Galfond. Look at that. That's almost impossible. That only 24 points from the the quality of players there. 26, 26, and 17. 17% of the points collected. I think it's shocking to see Phil Galfond only picking up 17% of the points, losing a massive, uh, big shutout loss to Jason Mercier of the New York Rounders earlier this season. I really think in the second half, we're going to see roles reversed here. There's no way that Greg Jaffe and uh, Galfond finish at the bottom of that team scoring. Right. It's good to remind everyone we're not playing for matches today. We were just playing for nine points, three points, three games each, three points apiece they are worth. I believe we're pretty close to uh, being able to talk to Mr. Jonathan Jaffe. He is on the floor with Laura Cornelius. Here I am now with Jonathan Jaffe, who has been limbering up. You've been doing some stretching. You for are sure. ready for this. So you're taking this really seriously. Absolutely. Are uh, you going to be doing some running around in there? Uh, I don't know about that. I mean, if it's permitted, I would like to go over and peek at his cards from time to time. Not sure that's allowed. <laughs> Seems like to sportify poker, you should really add like a fighting element to it. I mean, I don't want to start this one versus Dimitri, but like get an opponent my size, maybe, you know, Fight Club meets poker. Oh, wow, I like this. Outstanding. Now, Dimitri, obviously uh, quite an aggressive player online. Are you excited? Have you uh, seen much of his game? Uh, I have seen his game, um, him winning high rollers and stuff. I've uh, seen some of the footage of him winning uh, 100k, I believe, and uh, yeah, he plays fantastic. Does that put the pressure on? Do you, do you feel it, or you're just going to take it in your guide? What was that word? Do you put, it, is the pressure on you? Do you feel... Uh... Sorry again, what word? Oh, I see what he's doing. <laughs> no pressure. You're feeling relaxed. Yeah, I'm not familiar with the term, <laughs> but I know, I know, yeah. And what do you think of playing in the cube? Yeah, I mean, I'm really excited for this. I think, um, not to advertise GPO any more than they need, but I think it's a great idea, just the... Anything that's different, you know, like an action clock, um, uh, you know, like standing here, I think uh, you just have different tells that you're not aware of when you're playing a different form of poker or, in this case, a different setting. Um, you know, things that throw you off will really make the game different. And San Francisco Rush uh, need a little help. They're not bottom. La Las Vegas, obviously, uh, in sixth place, but in fifth place at the moment. You've got some work to do. You need to win all nine points here, really. We don't need help. We'll do it ourselves. Okay. He's feeling good. He's feeling relaxed. Jonathan Jaffe, good luck. Thank and, you. And uh, we'll speak to you after those three matches. Appreciate it. Back to you, boys. So we are just about ready to go here. The players are getting into the cube. I just want to read one comment off of Twitch. Mistral Triple X says, Dima will destroy this game, which just reminds me, you guys can get involved, can communicate with us, use the Twitch chat if you like. That's uh, twitch.tv slash GPL, or you can hashtag your tweets. GPL will be following along with both of those. Chance, before we get going here, care to make a prediction? Um, I actually am going to go with a little, little bit of nationalism here, and I think Jaffe's going to take it down. Like, he specializes in heads up. Um, he's very experienced in live poker, and uh, I think he's going to do well. I think he's going to take two of the three. Now, you can't win 800 poker tournaments without being good at heads up, so I assume <laughs> Dmitry Urbanovich is also probably a decent heads up player. I'm pretty excited to see how things are going here. Eric? I think it's pretty exciting to see Dmitry Urbanovich not knowing who, who Jonathan Jaffe is, whereas yeah. Jaffe knows exactly who he is doing the studying. I think if you're Urbanovich, it doesn't matter who you're playing at this point. You're just winning everything. So it's going to be a tough, tough match for, for Jaffe. Do we think that Dmitry is going to have his head in this game, considering he's got massive bracelet bets going this summer, and I think he's still alive in a tournament, and he's yes. starting another one today. Correct. So, I mean, he's got a really busy schedule. 
That being said, Dimitri is really excited. He's been talking about being in the Cube for, for weeks now. He wanted to be here, so there's, there's no shocker that uh, he wants to play. So uh, I, I think uh, Dimitri can play five, six, seven tournaments at once and not be affected whatsoever, given, uh, <laughs> given the young age, of course. Chance, what's your max? Uh, <laughs> online, I feel really, really comfortable with four, but when I go outside that, I think I make mistakes. What about live oh, tournaments? <laughs> <laughs> I've only ever played one at a time. Just live. one at a time? Yeah. That seems like with uh, you know the year you're having, you're sort of having the American you know, Dimitri Urbanovich here. It feels like playing more than one live tournament is not too far in your future. In your future right now, though, everyone, is a heads-up match between Dimitri Urbanovich and Jonathan Jaffe. Let's take it on down to the cube. All right. Game on. I'll give you this one. Okay, cool. It's a gift. Cool. Where's Fold? Wow. This is a true poker player designed this if I can't find Fold, every other button. Uh, you have to look gentle. Yeah. You have to on your cards like this with your fingers. That's right. In order to fold, oh, yes. badass. I throw like that. your cards away, quite right. literally. <laughs> of course you, you would teach me how to fold. <laughs> Can I change my side? Try. Uh, he's like, uh, I'm not really sure Jonathan understands the mechanics. This could be a long poker. match. Chance might not make it to the heads up. All right, so just to recap, everybody, both players start with 50,000 in chips. You know the lines are at 2,400. Again? Yeah. No way. Whoa. Three games to be played, three points up for grabs in each game. Right, no more folding. And Dimitri and Jonathan are playing inside that soundproof cube. For you, anyways. We can see in, they cannot That's see nice. out. Mm -hmm. Keep doing it. Max Payne for the announcers, the production crew. Keep them here all day. I have a feeling that this match it's will not go very long, regardless of what these two are talking about. Looks like Jonathan's finally scored himself a pot. No real action so far. A couple of queens here. Joe, a friend of mine just uh, tweeted out to me asking to ask Chance, who's had just a record uh, first six months of the season this year, how does it feel to be the second most successful player on that team with Fader Holtz Let's winning the everything time, at this right? point? All right. <laughs> I mean, Fader is just Three incredible. Cards I'm just happy to have him on my team and to learn from him. <laughs> so we did actually get to a flop this time. Dimitri flops to bet, best. Right? I have to. It's just, I mean, Two have you got some you could have so many things. You could have like have uh, nine, seven of clubs and you just I have, have to fold. I have to, I have to try it. That's such a small bet though. Even nine seven of clubs could like call. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Do some, yeah. Let's hope for the six, right? Okay. Wait, you just raised me while you did that? <laughs> it's misclick. Okay. <laughs> I do not think it was a misclick. How do I show my fold? I'm making a big fold. Okay. How do I show it? No way to show the folds just yet. I assume we're gonna hand. have that in the future. You? Yeah. You had Jack ten, ten of hearts. Better. Better. <laughs> Jeez, you're raising before I even look at my hand. You have to be quick. You're on clock, you know. Oh, good call. I forgot about that. Yeah, let's mention that for a second. You'll see there's timers. I was underneath. gonna make it three thousand. I'm gonna change that. Let's go. Each Ooh. of their. Uh, you gonna three bet? Back there. up. Yeah, I got. I got a three bet. But I gotta get the sizing right. Each player. What's thirty four hundred do to you? Huh? What's thirty four hundred do to you? That's good. That's good. All right. Hey, if these two are going to chat, I don't have to say a word. I'm happy for it. <laughs> Anything that you uh, particularly Aside stand out to poker-wise yeah, yeah. yet, Chance? Go ahead. What? Anything stand out to poker-wise yeah. here yet? Not Pretty no. standard so far. Um, I'm that part impressed I by their amount of table okay. talk, actually. Yeah, yeah, right? They both feel they have this the is game like so a dialed lunch that they're very know? comfortable like chatting during their hand. And this goes no, bet good fold. Oh, oh, man. Three bet pre-flop. I had trip aces. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well have. I think that peel from Dimitri is a little wide. Yeah, calling the three bet pre-flop with mm -hmm. queen 10. Yeah. Well, it's two big cards. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you don't, have, you don't have to pretend. Um, I don't want to get just say you're wrong. Again. It's okay. I'm used to it. I like to play devil's advocate. So Dimitri flops. 
Top pair on the flop. We'll give you a second chance. They told me you're aggressive. What's going on? I'm giving on? you a second chance. Okay. I thought it was going to be a river spade. <laughs> all right. You want some aggression, right? Show me some aggression. How about that? Yeah, I mean, that's aggressive. Dimitri bets 2340 on the river. Ooh. What? What a move. I wish I had my notepad here. Scroll <laughs> Chance you hero here very often. Don't stress um, me. Do you have seven eight? Don't stress me. Do you what? have seven? You have four says seven eight. What's the deal with that? All right, all right, all right. No I don't stress, think so. No. Average no. Dimitri. None of them have really shown post flop aggression yet. I can't stress you out. Jonathan does fold. Oh, blinds just raise. Blinds go up every four minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what's. I like how Jonathan's got a good grip six and on that thing down there. He's flexing. Would it be reasonable if I won 5,100? Mm -hmm. 5,100, is that reasonable? Mm, too big, I guess. Seems kind of big. big, right? 5,100? Mm -hmm. A little too big. <laughs> he does make, make less? it nearly well, yeah, 5,100. Yeah, slightly <laughs> smaller than 5,100. He heard us. Keep doing it okay. all the time. Now Jonathan's a kind of a meta gamer, right? Isn't part of his like little dopey routine here sort of an act? Yeah, I mean he's fantastic with that meta game live tells, but I've watched Dimitri play just a couple of times and he's actually incredibly good for it for his age especially as well. Okay, so we've had a player with Ace King three hands in a row, two in a row for Dimitri. And gets a fold from the eight deuce. Seems like they're beginning to focus a little bit more and start to play their yeah. games. Check Set, this out. Settling in. Cool. Yeah. Okay, like Jonathan decides right. to limp the big Ooh, ace. Flop trip trips. Cool. I'm going to slow play it. <laughs> and we saw this happening a lot yesterday between uh, Fabrice and Aaron Paul. Really there slow? was like Pretty a lot of anything? honesty about, we'll maybe not that quite honest, you know. I just flopped trip aces, but... <laughs> I'd say 90% of the time they were telling the truth about their hands. I think because Jonathan oh, lied when he said he had trip aces last time was the biggest reason he told the truth this time. Ah, right. Makes sense. I did not expect to see a limping battle with the It's a good one. Get to play more poker, you know? I yeah. think that Jonathan was no maybe already a little frustrated at the lack of action, so just decided to start limping in and... I have to violate the terms of our contract. <laughs> mm. All right. Looks like give me a free card. See some real poker oh, be bet. played I'm now. Do you think a free card's warranted? Please. Talk to me into it. <laughs> That's a good one, actually. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. I don't have a nine. I'm still going to bet. Half pot. And Jonathan wins it with the best hand. just one more free card. Eight high ahead of seven high. Nice Better flush draw, too. Maybe they're not used to having this many big blinds. Yeah. They won't have that many for long with blinds going up every four minutes. Blinds are already at 400, 800. Hmm. I could see raise three bet here. KZ120 on Twitch says, just doubt these two would be this chatty if this was their 10K heads up today. Lol. Actually, that's the whole point. That's the whole point of the GPL is to make things more chatty and make things more fun. Yeah, and people don't know Jonathan Jaffe. He is a chatty, chatty character. He's yeah. so. a funny dude. Yeah. I think he might bring out the best of uh, Dimitri in this match for sure. Yeah, I don't think Dimitri would be this chatty if it wasn't for Jonathan as well. Yeah. So Jonathan's got the best hand by the I'm river. Trying to steal the pot. 
Dimitri announces that he's going to steal the puck. And Jonathan's got a hand. I think he can call with that bet. Yes, he can. Nice answer. That was a sick thin value. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't seen too many showdowns so far. This one goes to Jonathan. And Jonathan has got Dimitri dominated. Looks like he's going to raise. Makes it 2,000. Dimitri calls dominated. Oh, Jack would be fun. Dimitri checks to the pre-flop razor. Jonathan bets 1,800. And Dimitri calls. There's your Love fun the little call. Jack you were looking for, <laughs> Chance. You got King Queen. You didn't make Broadway. No, I didn't. I suppose we're not deep enough where that concession makes a huge difference, but it's still nice. I got blockers. You gonna bet? I, I gotta bet blockers. He does have blockers to Broadway. <laughs> Maybe check and raise on the river. He has all of the blockers. Seems to very difficult. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I thought you meant check raise. I was gonna say. You think I should do that? No, you check, then I bet, and you raise me. Yeah. This works for you. This is gonna be so boring when a king hits the river. <laughs> No, four diamonds. You already conceded you don't have king-queen, so... I block that, but it doesn't matter if we both know you don't have it. So? <laughs> I got a bet. Cool right. story, bro. Jonathan bets 5,100. They told game. me you're aggressive. That's all I'm going to say. I don't know. I just... I haven't seen anything yet that's aggressive. You want to see? I, I want to see aggression. You want to see? Yeah, please, show me aggression. <laughs> see how quick I decide if you... He's not really going to fall for this, is he? <laughs> yeah, he sure wow. did. Wow. Wow. Reel him in. He said you don't have king-queen. <laughs> you said... promised. You promised. I did not. Jaffe is selling this. Vanessa said if I lose, uh, Vanessa Selp said I can slash your tires so you can't make it to any of these bracelets. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's right, Dimitri's got a massive bracelet bet this summer against Vanessa Selps. If he wins three of them, she has to pay him two million dollars. I wish that was the case, but I actually have half of that wager. One million from Chance, one million from Vanessa. You know, like million. <laughs> and if you win, you only get 5K? I already got paid the five. Oh, okay. So I'll be slashing the tires. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan's doing a great job of convincing Dimitri. He doesn't have much of a hand here. Six, seven hearts? I like this. kind of like tough calling out of position on the turn. You're like, you know what? I feel better, more comfortable, like turning us into a bluff. And then Jack I can is just... a good call. Great comment here from Cali. I kind of says, if John's here, I'll who's taking one. care of the okay. dolphins? John's wife, of course. Dimitri's thinking that's such a good river. I hope he has an eight. A pair of sevens. Still Broadway. I could have like king brick of hearts that would be reasonable to call the turn and now you just you have showdown value it's like just check take the pot turn it into a bluff catcher that would be sick you're gonna do it one am i gonna bluff the lessons are extra no you're gonna bluff catch me no no no, no. i'm saying you are gonna catch me with the bluff <laughs> oh, yeah, seven six yeah, of hearts yeah, for sure you check all it all in if i cut six seven here yeah six seven hearts <laughs> So Cash's clips on Twitch brings up a good point. Jaffe is going to run out of time on his clock. If he, I, I love watching him. I love the chatter. I love the banter. But, uh, you know, we saw how big a problem the hot seat can be. When you run out of your 20 minutes of time bank, you then get four seconds for every decision. And if not, your hand gets folded. You said you're on for slow rolls, John. Wow. Here we go. Wow. Yes, he is on for slow rolls. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> I didn't think you'd follow through. <laughs> good play. Good play. Get the popcorn! You remember the conversation we had earlier? This guy's yeah. the best. About slow rolls? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I saw it in the tournament. You have it. Nice one. That's how long you. Is it finished? I think so, right? Yeah. yeah. Covered? All right. Jonathan. Dimitri <laughs> covered. But I cannot just check fault on the river, I guess. What? No. No, but I had like feeling that you have it after yeah, your talk. Yeah, but I mean. It's not, like it's, it's not like it's 10x pot. Yeah. 
there's so much that I would have that I would value, you know, like value talk like that. Oh man, I, I would have slow rolled you with less than you had. <laughs> <laughs> so game number one. Oh, that's a sick setup. <laughs> they open. That's right, game number one already over in the books, and we got to see it ended with a slow roll. Pretty exciting. I thought it was great. We should point out that, you know, regular poker, you're not supposed to slow roll, but this is very much encouraging the GPL. It's part of the show, <laughs> part of the game. Uh, it works better online, of course, because it makes it more classic and funny the way Tom Marchese waited four minutes to, uh, to, to go all in against Anthony Zeno. But it was great, too, to see it there. So, yeah, the rules of poker are bent a bit. They can actually talk about their hands as publicly as they want. So we try to, try to make things fun at the GPL. Chance, have you ever slow rolled anybody? Um, very, very few people. I'm afraid to do it online because I'm like at any moment your internet connection can go out, right? Like right. someone's got to have some story about how they were like waiting yep. to slow roll someone and then it's like connecting, network, <laughs> connecting. And you're like, no, why did I do that? <laughs> I think that Jonathan, I did appreciate the slow roll, but I feel like he, he didn't drag it out as long, long as he enough. could have. He had 13 minutes on that time. Right? Break. I would just sit on the ground, take out my phone, start texting, checking Twitter. I mean, he doesn't have a Twitter, so whatever. But yes, first game there goes to the San Francisco Rush. Very important that they pick up those points. They're not doing very well so far this season. So yeah, that's critical. A, critical that they pick up as many points as possible, and Jaffe is the, the player to do that. And uh, do you think that we will see the next match chance play out similarly, or do we think that they're still settling and adjusting to each other? Um, I think it's actually going to be drastically different. I think that the three-bet aggression is going to pick up. Um, they both love to play pots out of position, um, and they're very comfortable doing it. So I wouldn't be uh, surprised to see a lot more three-bets. And uh, do you, as far as the way that last hand went down, any sort of analysis and or critique? Could anyone have played it any differently? I mean, I think that uh, Jonathan certainly could have shoved the turn if he thought that Dimitri's range on the turn was purely valuable or value. But in a spot where he only kind of has, oh, Dimitri's crazy and aggressive, uh, of course, he's going to call and play more trappy style. And so do you think that uh, the way that Jonathan played it, both, uh, you know, sort of the way he played his actual cards would also the chatter, do we think the hand plays out the same way even without it? I guess sort of the way the hand ran out, we were likely to see something similar happen. But until it did happen that way, I, I feel like Jonathan really did his best to sort of get as much juice out of there as possible. Yeah, I mean, definitely. But from a live reads perspective, I mean, it's easy to say when you're looking at the cards, but I thought they both looked incredibly strong too. Dimitri, oh, you want to see aggression? When he had a straight yeah. like on the turn. So, I mean, situations like that, it's easy to say when we saw the cards, but uh, it definitely seemed like they were both pretty nutted. Would it be possible for you to continue calling for whatever the biggest train wreck card is? Because that was awesome. <laughs> that was masterfully done. Well a nice done. blank on the river, too. I mean, I really, really love that. You're like, you know what would be a kind of a train wreck card? How about a, how about a jack oh, here? <laughs> Boom. Jack on the turn. So, yeah, once again, just to recap, three points so far to the San Francisco Rush. We have two more matches to go. Everyone's time banks get refilled so that, you know, that 20-minute clock didn't end up really being a thing at all. Although we did see it tick down to, what, like 13 minutes in yep. just the few hands that we played, whereas it took over 100 yesterday for Aaron Paul to uh, run out of his time bank. But again, time banks are reset. Chip stacks are reset. Blinds are reset. Remember, kicking things off, 50,000 chips each. Blinds at 200, 400. I believe the players are in position. Let's get back to the cube. Underwater. Yeah. Oh, they left us. Yeah. I think you're still there, yeah. You're still okay. Yeah. So good luck that one. For Indeed. me, yeah? Yeah. Maybe some setup. I'm going to cooler you a couple more times. Go ahead. All right. Should we start, start gentle again? Depends on your cards. Connector. Which one? All connectors are good here, right? 9, 10, but I'm going to slow play it. I don't have 9, 10. I don't have 9, 10? <laughs> He's over Let's it. Make a Urbanovich problem. is over it. Let's make it. Watch this tight fold. If you have 9, 10, you don't let it. You won't fold there. You don't know anything about me. He just folds in position with it. <laughs> I was once playing with Jonathan in a 25k. I raised the button, he called the big blind, and I go, go easy on me. And he just open folded the flop. <laughs> <laughs> so that actually uh, didn't surprise it. me as much as it might have some of the people at home. 
there's still room for fun and games even when you're playing at 25k, right? He's got a lot of heart. That's called bluffing with the better hand, right? Yep. King high. Almost. So Dimitri starts off with a slight lead. We're going big. Try and end it right here. K Dubs on Twitch who asks who won the first one. You can see in the upper right corner of the screen there, you can see the green check bark. You're gonna end it. Hmm? You're gonna three bet and then five bet all in. Okay. And it looks like Works. chances prediction so far so Works. good. We're seeing a lighter three bet. Six eight of diamonds. Earlier in this who match. You? Or me. Go on. There's two playable hands, heads up. Don't fold. Gotta look on the cards. Oh, okay. That hit you. Oh, so are you calling for those cooler cards? An offsuit nine would be pretty That's perfect. All right. <laughs> Too many you've, opportunities Poker here. gods, you've heard Chance's there was prayer. A strong reduction in oxygen when that flop hit. Like you just inhaled. Like, Not a prayer, just a <sighs> prediction. I think so. I like watching these guys play. They're fantastic. Jonathan maybe did pick up a live tell on Dimitri if he really did catch him inhaling like that on the open ender on the flop. This would be a sick lead, right? You gonna lead? Would it be a sick lead? Not really. No, it would. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough to get a compliment out of that really. guy, by the way. I know Dimitri's been working on his heads up game a lot when he lost the, the super high roller heads up to Eric Seidel. Uh, he was pretty beside himself. It's nothing new. And Sidel's one of the original goats, so, yeah. so not before. a lot of harm. He had a huge him. lead going into it, though, so uh, he was like really upset that Sidel battled back. I, I doubt Dimitri has really learned no, how to lose yet. Yeah, that's true. He was full. He's like, what is this second place? I don't know what... what huh? <laughs> a two. <laughs> I don't even get that in my hand. <laughs> ten career titles already. I guess you can't call it a career after you've only been playing for 18 months, but ten <laughs> wins, 34 top tens, 53 results, five million dollars in earnings. Not a bad start to a career. I mean, it's you know, it's the worst most, most I've ever seen. Yeah. For I know. He just sweeps out of play. Such disappointed. Yeah. You're here working for the money right now. So Dimitri's got the best hand. It's not bad. You want 1,200 or a call? All of that. All of it. Yes. All goes for me. Let me see what that would look like. What do I have? 45K. Queen of Hearts Paris is great to finally see team shirts. I agree. What if I go modest and I 8X the pot? <laughs> go ahead. You want me to do that? <laughs> I know your game. Jonathan just calls. I watched you put Seidel in the hurt locker. Oh. oh, what a great needle. That's beautiful. That was mean. I play some uh, reasonably high stakes crash with Jonathan in Florida, up, yeah. and Give it is up. fully needling in the game the entire time. I expect Jonathan to turn his hand into a bluff here. Don't believe me, I give up. Should I try and extract something? I give up. I think I got to extract a little something. You won't get it. I think he might get it. No, I think the just 11 hunt. He won't get it. 1600. <laughs> That's better. I think you look like a guy who's gonna call <laughs> the bigger bets. The bigger bets the way to get you. <laughs> <laughs> Snap call. I had a feeling that Oops. was gonna happen. He just knew. Well, he was like, please, you're not gonna get I it. Don't just kidding. Get it. You were right. I should have listened. I'm learning. Bit, but. That's fair. See, now this is a real heads up match. Oh, nope, just kidding. They folded. No limping. I'm not sure no that's limping? a great call no versus range. You said by you liked Dimitri. it. What's that? I'm sure, not sure that's a great call versus range by Dimitri. I mean, he beats all the gut shots, but I mean, there's so many aces and jacks in his range. If you're playing purely online, I can certainly see you saying that, but when you're standing across from a guy and you're starting to get to, to learn, he's kind of goofing around a little bit. I think maybe there's a lot of like lie of tell equity. Well, I mean, Which folding one? to either of these guys is traditionally a mistake. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Clubs? Yeah. 
It's not on the flop. Come on, man. Actually, Jonathan, before we got started today, said that we were talking about some of the great folds that were made yesterday, and he's like, yeah, great fold shouldn't be a thing. Blue Heaven That's Broadway. Right. <laughs> I'm really intrigued to see this raise here. I think he's reading really well into Jonathan's raise. That's a good sizing. raise with one pair. Check back the river. I like that play. I like it. Of course, the river that didn't happen. Pair? You had one pair, yeah. <laughs> good read. Thank you. I think one of the things about Jonathan is he plays a very exploitable style, very unique bet sizing. on the numbers. And I'm not sure if that's going to be great against Dimitri. We'll see. Oh, now my hand went away. Is that sort of because he's goofing around a little bit? And is that why no, he has he unique like bet sizing? He always plays that. like that. Incredibly unique. No, I just mean in general. I mean, he's always kind of goofing around. Oh, yeah, definitely. Believe you this time. No limping from you. I can. I have an interesting decision. I'm afraid I'll chase you off a of flop if I raise them. Three diamonds on the flop. Ace high still good for now. Great board to lead. Uh, you were saying that Jonathan should have led that board? Yeah, he's yeah, got Jonathan. a little bit of equity and he can't call. Doesn't lead and Dima takes down that pot. Looks like blinds are about to go up. This should be the last hand at the 300, 600 level. Jonathan's first ever live cash was at the Turning Stone near Syracuse in 2005. Dimitri was 10 years old when that happened. <laughs> oh, God. And yes, you're allowed That's to play at 18 home. in Turning Stone. It's not. Uh, you have a full house? house? Still no casinos where you can play at 10, though. No, I, I think if there are, Banovich did win. Excuse me. Right. In that, uh, in that casino. Made me nervous when you said full house. I liked my hand. <laughs> Are you going to slow play or fast play? Who, me? Yeah. Depends oh, on your guy. decision. <laughs> that guy. That guy. <laughs> Ask him. OK. I'm going to make a normal bet, and we'll react. Don on Twitch says, at first, I was skeptical about the GPL, but I kind of like the goofy trash talk. That would be the play. <laughs> Throw me off. Oh my god, you have so few queens. Right? I have no queens. I have no full house. This is a reasonable turn for me to bet. When I said I have full house? Oh, you're right. That's true. Mm -hmm. If I neglect that fact, then it's kind of reasonable for me to bet, right? Yeah. OK. Chance if you were out there. Oh, OK. Well, we got oh, a shit. I had, I we got a no. no. Uh, no Chance, no, if you were out there, we'll go back to my original <laughs> question. <laughs> And you saw Dima rubbing his chin in his neck like that. Would you read into that at all? Um, you know, I haven't really had a chance to baseline it yet. Um, a, a lot of his micro expressions earlier have been on purpose when he rubbed his nose, raised. when he no, moved his lips a little bit together, this. have been really strong, but I haven't got one for the chin yet. The fact that they're playing standing like up will place. add to some, true, you know, very close. To some tells that you'll be able to see. Hands right that aren't full houses, but appear to be. You can't sit still if you're not sitting. What's a good size for me? That's standard. I'm trying to figure. No, no, no. I'm trying to figure out my size. Ah, your size. You went 1880. You look like a guy who needs six thousand dollars. <laughs> what? Do you? Do I? Do you need six thousand? Well, let's think about it. If you're gonna give me. The pot's twelve thousand. If you call, then I can bet the flop and you can jam and I can just win, right? Correct. It'd be better if they played the hand out. I wish I always had you in my corner. In the game and not over. just in their own heads. That would be my suggestion here. To be. Could have told me that a moment ago. Should I ask you for less? You're going to do it if I ask you? Too good, man. Oh, I'm the button. <laughs> Click your button. That's the guy to get lessons from. Guy who doesn't know what position he is. Whoa! <laughs> that was a pretty honest misclick. <laughs> Very interesting. Sure is. Three bet me right after I three bet you. Doesn't seem like you call a jam. 
All right. I would All just right. rip it in if I was Jonathan here for sure. What about format? Nah, initial plan, initial plan. How do I go on? Oh, I see. You know how, you already did it. <laughs> Several ways to go all in on there. They've got a slider bar. You can also, there's a number pad, and there's the all in. <laughs> Actually, I was going to three bet you. Normal size. Normal you did size. three bet me. I mean, what is he? I'm going to come over there and look. I know a slow roll when I see one. Say again? I know a slow roll when I see one. I'm going to come look. <laughs> well. I'm crossing the line. I'm coming. You got two seconds. I don't know Go how ahead. to rule this. I mean, he's all in. I don't see what the harm is. <laughs> it might be good. <laughs> might be better. <laughs> That's true. No, I had the best one. Deuces. Deuces? Yeah. I kind of like Jonathan's idea Maybe of making their, have cool. it be like a little uh, physical element to this. Like, if you so can get to the other guy's trouble. side, why not? He's, it's his job I'm to shove guy. you off like a sumo you wrestler. Right. Yeah. I like it. I like it. They should have the big gladiator paddles. I'm checking a good hand. Yeah, well, yeah, those big pads. Ace queen. Absolutely. Not, not ace queen good. No, the only issue is if you're playing Olivier Bousquet, I do have a that might now. be an issue with the, <laughs> right. the kicks and the punches. Well, he's right? on my team, so. You're fine. <laughs> you do have a queen yourself? I do, I do. <laughs> All right. And Joe, you were getting very close to Olivia yesterday, and she did you know, push you off a things few times. Get, she things. also is very scary, so. You know, when people talk about the restraining order between me and Liv, what mistakes. people don't realize is oh, I've taken out the restraining order against her. I, I agree. You're yeah. right. No, I, I, I hear you. So what do we got here? Ace high, the best hand still. But Dimitri wins it with eight high. Gets F3 a fold. Says, no mistakes, that's why I'm the best. And then he bluff raises. <laughs> Now we had the queen. I like how Jonathan keeps trying to straighten out that that tablet. I, it's bugging me too. Did you look? Oh, it's crooked. I did. Yeah, seven four of really spades. You lucked out. Yeah. He's very rough on it compared to. I prefer seven four of spades. I believe it. So Jonathan's raised his button with eight seven off. Dimitri with a monster. Bet to 7,000. Fold an ace. 2.5x with an ace. Ace eight. Wine's 500, 1,000 now. This is further into the match than we got last time, at least time wise. That match going way better than last one. Mm -hmm. So far. So far, this match is way better going for me than last one. We're getting flops. You're going to outplay me if we see flops. Pre-flop. <laughs> You're a pre-flop player? If I can win the pre-flop, you know. Flop is a lot of thinking. Being a pre-flop player is kind of like being a, like playing the NBA and saying you're like a passer, much. right? I'm more, of, an, I'm more of an assist guy. guy. <laughs> flop, it's like... It's not really the whole skill set you need really to make it in this industry. Pre-flop, what's the worst shape you're in? 8%? I love the fake humility from People Jonathan. People do things yeah. at 8% all the time. That's true. 8% is like a great rate to earn interest on your money. <laughs> I mean, it's something. Breakout star here, everybody. Most Jonathan Jaffe. I have a six, but I'm going to check. I did not. No betting on the flop. Bet and pick. Should I bet? Yeah. yeah. All right. And Jonathan's going to bet the turn. Which means she's going to call. Yep. Jack on the river. Check, check. You don't have a jack. That would be so weird. One check, two check, showdown. Oh, nice. That's nice the punishment swim. for me, right? Five nice two swim, off the taste king suit. <laughs> I really enjoy watching how Jonathan is like does a lot of flow based things, and so does Dimitri a lot more than most. And some of the players just do a GTO game three optimal approach. What was the plan for Ice King? I was just going to call your raise. Okay. Yep. Nice. You're folding a lot. Being gentle. Cool. I'm setting you up for the big blind. That's where I shove a lot. When they say they're being gentle with each other, it brings up all kinds of sexual connotations for me. Is, am I the only time. one? Big raise. 
Just, just, sort of, just be sir. gentle okay. with me. Let's take it slow. Did you just peel one with 8 9? I'm surprised by that limp call. Like Jack 7 here. Jack 8. Almost. You'll be cautious. You'll be cautious. Trying to give you a chance to bluff me. I expect two really big bets here from Jonathan. Well, I'll give you a chance, Corneth. Ooh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Name drop. To call me. Oh, an overbet. Okay. Res overbet. Respect. Ace five. So far, so good. That counts. That qualifies as a big bet. Yeah. I see why he did the name drop reference. I don't know there. what I'm going to do if the river's an ace is the problem. It is the good river. It's a good river because he's not going to value that you again. Or ace five. Yeah, it is. How much can I get? Hmm? How much can I get from you? From what? From ace five? No, I have ace five. How okay. much money can I win from you? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. 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 I bet 1,000 you fold. I mean, I, I'm not saying I'm folding. I'm saying you, I'm saying you can win nothing. Because you have a better hand. Well, maybe. You're claiming 9-10. Maybe. 9-5. Nine, 9-5 five. Nine, five beats me. I'm really curious if he's going to value bet this. Looks like he is as well. What's that countdown? What's it, 217? The blinds. blinds. So Chance, you predicted two big bets here, then obviously the six peels off, four cards straight out there, it becomes a lot harder for him to value bet top pair. You think he it. might go for it anyway? I mean, he's sick enough too. I mean, it just comes down to the combos Tell of like, which pair of hands what have what like eight, six, eight, nine, eight, five. seven, nine. Eight, five. Yeah. Do you big. also have to take into account how sick your opponent is and the fact that Dimitri could also bluff raise you back? Just the yeah, not to mention how sick they are, but how sick they think you are is really right. important. And these guys are both capable of having a bluff in a spot. Jonathan does not bet. Oh man, what's that? What's that? <laughs> what's that? <laughs> Thought he was gonna snap check. Uh, I mean, check. The delayed snap check, and Urbanovich loses the biggest pot of this game. I wonder if that's gonna be a, a trend this All year. All right, Even referencing my name and then overbetting for value. <laughs> it's a good limp hand. Should I limp? That's right. Okay. Name an aggressive player and value bet big. I'm gonna have to use that. Oh, that's the race, right? No, I just limped. Just mm, click the okay. check button. So I check. Yeah. Good. Limp, limp. Queen jack flops a gut shot. Queen high the best hand. Half pot. One in doubt, right? I don't know what to do on this flop. I'm a big fan of the half pot button myself. I don't have an ace, but I don't think you do. Neither of us do. There's not enough. I got left. one pair. You got one pair. I have. I can't tell you. <laughs> Stop watching me. Okay, one pair Look as down. Well. Look down. No. I'm not gonna act. I remember. Look down. I remember. Stay on me. I remember. <laughs> Want to do a staring contest? CC200 on Twitch asks, what's the timer that just dropped under two minutes? That's the blinds. Every four minutes, the blinds go up. Although I do believe they cap at 2,000, 4,000. That's right. Oh my God. That's crazy river. Someone got plus? Wow, 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 wow. So Dimitri is going to bluff with this a lot. Well, every time he's grabbed his chin so far, he's been weak. And every time he's touched above his mouth, he's been... Take me through the All right. Just... Thanks, Chance. Dynamite analysis. No. Are you thinking about value betting or bluffing or... Bluffing. Bluffing. <laughs> Help me out with it. I'm just trying to figure out what hands you can fold. Yeah. Jonathan. I'm not folding a 10. Beating all bluffs. There. It's out there. I believe. I it's do. out there. I'm not going to do it. I believe. Yeah. sure Dimitri would bluff a king. <laughs> Snap call. Snap call with queen high, yep. Nice call. Thanks. And that's going to be a momentum shift right there. 800, 1600, the blinds now. Jonathan Jaffe Ooh, now hand. leading this match for, I think, the first time. I thought that was a big raise. Now I see the blinds. That's reasonable. <laughs> You've been nothing but a reasonable man. I can't, you know, for me to expect all this you... all the same, you know. Yeah, that's fair. Sure, I've caught on to that. Definitely, definitely. It's a good one. Yeah. How deep are we? I got 35 behind. 
Would have called this yesterday in cash. We are not deep enough. What I fold. Queen three. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. So close. What do Here. I call super deep that I fold there? What was that? Queen D three. Queen three two. All right, ten nine. You're on the track. Mm -hmm. You're on the right track. Next mm -hmm. hand. What are we worth? Thirty big blinds. All these professionals talking in terms of big blinds. Thirty big blinds a good limp ship stack. Everybody does. I need to need to work on that. <laughs> We're talking <laughs> big blinds. Yeah. I have all input. I have okay. it put together. Okay. Not at all in. Just the call. Queen five five. Ace high ahead. Chance if you got uh, That's a good club ace high on the easy. button here, you're you're pretty. I'm not confident in your hand, yeah. I'm calling at least one for sure. Don't even try to get me to talk. It won't work. What's the reason? That won't work. This, what's the reason? Just tell me the reason. Okay, I'll just tell you the reason. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. I feel like I'm gonna give information away and you'll use it against me to try and win the pot or maximize your winnings should you have the best hand. I'm not that kind of That's player. That's a troll if I've ever heard one. <laughs> I'm just playing my cards. I believe you. Joe Novella on Twitch asks, what happens when Jaffe runs out of time stapes? That, at that point, he goes into wow. what's known as the hot seat. He has four seconds to make every decision. Every... Otherwise, his hand is folded. Now I have a flush, and you have an unfoldable hand. Jonathan pairs his ace on the turn. Check, check. Bet River call. No spoilers, Chance. And that's just, you know, what else is he going to do? For some people, it's crack. not that cut and dry. You're like crack. looking at the matrix, right? It's just like a bunch of numbers on the screen for the rest of us. And you're like, there's no other way it can go. Well, I mean, Jonathan and I actually play incredibly similar game styles in a lot of ways. This is a bet I would do with the nuts. Think wrong again. Because <laughs> I don't need to protect it. But yet I'm getting the pot going in a direction where I can like make a really big river bet. Possibly a shove. This is a spot where you could consider folding even the best hand just because, you know, my aggression, it's just, it could be there on the river. I'm like, just waiting, I would just fold sevens. I'm just waiting for Dimitri like to seven. be like, oh, shut up. Especially if you don't have a spade. If you have a spade, just I'm be like, shut up. Let's see if maybe a spade <laughs> river helps me. Maybe he's just betting a baby flush. Maybe he was thinking about limp shipping three, four spades. You really could have flush? I do. Eric, are there any rules in the book specifically against choking? Is it lined out anywhere? No, we, we I believe we That's checked with guest commissioner Liv Moray yeah. yesterday, and she said no, nothing. Everything goes, <laughs> um, yeah. As long as you don't cross the middle line, Joe, oh, okay. everything else. Well, so if you get yourself within choking distance, it's, uh, it's game on. If you've got long arms, you're very much uh, <laughs> in an advantage situation. I wonder if there's a simulation feature and we can watch our iPads play against each other. Say again? <laughs> there's like a simulation feature where the computers like just start playing each other <laughs> yeah. points, okay. and we could like coach them. Probably. Or you, you know, you could, could just make done. your own decisions. <laughs> Season two innovations. Ooh, I like that though. We have, well, I like the flop, but each team gets like a fan of their team from yeah. their city. <laughs> And we coach him, and he's on the team. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And they one. play against each other. That's a good one. Write it down, Alex. <laughs> the GPL like Pro Am is it. in the works, and will be coming oh. to uh, yeah, San Diego. I mean, they're going to be fans, <laughs> so I imagine they played some. Okay. But yeah, 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 like we have a cap. Like they've never entered like a thousand buy-in tournament yeah, or bigger yeah, or something yeah, like yeah. that. They've never won like four tournaments in one week, like a live <laughs> bird, you know, <laughs> <laughs> something reasonable. I feel like you expect me to bet trips here. A lot of folks noticing that Jonathan's time bank down to six and a half minutes. Doesn't do you any good, but did you hit it? Do we see the, oh, it's just gonna go check, check this time. I thought it looked like he was gonna balance the tell too. Yeah. No, I'm good. 
So Jonathan picks this up with 10 Hyatt Showdown. <coughs> Oh my god, that just blasted my ear. <laughs> that was what I mean. That was by accident. Well played. Oh man, I just squealed. Are you gonna limp shove if I raise? I have a hand I, I can't. Could, I, could. I can't go to the flop with this hand. Why? It sucks post flop. <laughs> okay. Out of position. I try to take okay. this one down. Don't call or shove. Definitely don't call. Why you want that? Because why do I want you to not call or shove? What you got? Threes, fours? Jacks. Jacks. That's yes. the worst. Threes and fours I shove. Jacks is in my value raise call range. Jack is the worst hand ever. Yeah. Would you yeah, agree? Pretty bad. The worst hand ever? You never win money with You them. never win. You no. always lose. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very home game mentality. <laughs> yeah. Now this hand. You can win some money with. My home game used to say that bet reeks of jacks because it's always like a you raise some, way too big. My man Doyle made some money with wants that. Any action with oh, that. yeah? Yeah. So 1,000, 2,000 are the I blinds now. Everything. All right, we're walking back to Texas. <laughs> what reference is that? Is he from Texas? Oh, maybe. He's going to be out of no, place. No, he's coast. It's all in. He's from Massachusetts. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Aggression, me. I didn't think he was from Texas. Aggression, man. They told me you were aggressive. I don't know. That was a lie. For you Canadians out Everyone's there, Chad, told to me this morning it. that his mother is from my hometown of Ottawa, Canada. So he is half Canadian. Oh, filthy oh, Canadian. such a nice guy. Yeah. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Do I have a spade? Dimitri does. Do you? Yeah. And an up and down draw. I'm just trying to hit the ball, you know. Yeah. And then shove. What's your stack? What does it say? 20, 23. Thanks. I can't bet call, so I gotta check. You <laughs> cannot bet call? No. Okay. Now I can get bet call. Now Dimitri we can. does not improve. Four is holding. <laughs> Who do you think he's gonna shove here or call? I see Dimitri doing both. He's shown that he likes to ra like raise when people have capped ranges earlier. His statement earlier where he says, I'm just trying to hit a board, leads me to believe that maybe That's he's call that button? sick, sick I'm of waiting missing. When it, Is it call button? Yeah. OK. You <laughs> <laughs> promise. You're clicking. Clicking? Not clicking. Actually, you don't have call button right here. I'm waiting on it. OK. Right. It's sick when somebody knows what you're going to do before you do it, right? Dimitri just calls and gets what there. Happened? Did you... S I, I did that all in and clicked call. And then made it straight. Ah. Oh, um. man. I feel like I have permission to go check your cards. You're effing with me too much. This is too... That's too wild. Oh, man. I do think that he's I'm, actually going to show. Yeah, no, I think that that was absolutely 100% honest misclick by him. Now he's all in. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the hands he's most likely to want to do that with are spades and straight draws, right? So, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily. Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily think he's defending seven eight pre. I think he might have like jack eight a lot or. <laughs> what do you think? No token. What would you do with pocket fours here, per se? <laughs> I feel like I'm slow dancing with you right now. This is like, this is good. <laughs> I definitely think he's gonna be running out of time here soon. Oh yeah, he's down to four and a half minutes on his total time bank. This is going to take him another 30 seconds. I think the too. blinds are going to be up this hand also. Did you really? Was it an accident on the turn? Got a minute and a half I never left saw your finger do level. that. Oh, man. Chance, what do you do here? Well, I can see their cards. It's hard to be unbiased. <laughs> it's pretty wild. Joe and I are pretty good when it comes to seeing I'm the, the cards. I'm We're so really good, good when I can see the cards. Right. I'm really, really good at it. This I would, I would fold this. I would fold yeah. this if I was Jeff. Just yeah. saying. 
Lauren Billings gets in touch on Twitter to say walking back to Texas is what Doyle calls Ace King in Super System. Uh, thank you. I see. <laughs> what did it do? It folded. Yeah. Jonathan no, folded. Good, good fold, know. buddy boy. Did you time just with Nas and Jack High all the time? What's up? You had just, just Jack Nine. I mean Jack High. I was oh. gonna call you with Ace High. So you had not? No Ace High for you, right? I had Ace High. You had Ace High? I think that raising fours there is probably a mistake. I think you should have just shoved pre. You just want to get it in. I have top two. Yeah, you have enough equity versus calling, and they have too much equity if they're going to appeal a lot. Oh, I figured out the clock. It's the blinds. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I figured want. out that button. It's call. I mean. <laughs> I didn't, know, I didn't know what yeah. that did. Chance has never seen the call button in his life. No. <laughs> they actually take the fold button off my PokerStars account. <laughs> <laughs> really nice of them. That's your request. It just says wuss. <laughs> 14, 28. I refuse to click. That's right. Go ahead, you pansy. Bad depth to have a three bet fold. Don't have a three bet fold in your game. Why not? It's just tricky to balance. At these depths, I would say I like three betting like maybe jacks, queens, kings, flatting aces, you know? <laughs> not your bet I still fold. shove tens. Not your bet fold. I think three bet fold, you can, I mean, then you balance it with a couple hands. Okay. I'm just saying, have it. Dimitri is so sick. The fact that he has three best so small. Dimitri and Cheer is amazing. We assume. <laughs> Simple is something you are not. Some people have a three back call it off range with Jack Five. That's you know, true. Some Maybe people he's got the soul read. <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of wrong if on I this side. Right. Seven nine of clubs. What would you say? Be honest. I'm gonna call. Did anyone tell Jonathan about the hot seat deal? Because it feels like he's you know, I'm not, not really that, that concerned. Yeah, he's never been concerned. Uh, all the matches he's played are heads up matches so far, and uh, those matches are usually pretty quick. So, um, other what's than it say for your stack? Good acting. Mm -hmm. Your stack? 28. Thank you. I assume he can see it on his own screen. He's just trying to get a read on him. Yeah. All right. card for Dima here on the turn. <laughs> An eight. A uh, jack. A jack. <laughs> I, I mean, of, of, cards, of cards that there are more than one, one, of. one of. I don't know. Seems like something I might do. Seems like. But he probably just goes away. Yep, there it is. Jonathan's just been warned about his two minutes left in his time bank. Is this Jacks again? I talk a lot. Jacks. Good I folded for you. All right. Not good for me. It's borderline. Is it? <laughs> Whoa, that music, man. <laughs> Every time there's an all in, you will hear that noise. I don't know if Ace 10 is good enough to can slow it Tough one. Yeah, you can. What do you call it? <laughs> it's just, it's all your chips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. There's the call See? jack and the flop. It's just not good then. enough to slow roll with. <laughs> and we are. It's going to fold. I knew, I knew if I touched no. it, it would work out for me. No. <laughs> no, that's because you clicked it. <laughs> so, jack nice. No good. Never. 
Manages to run I like down a man ace who 10. can slow roll with ace 10 high on the bottom of the I appreciate that. <laughs> a man who sees a 62% edge and says, oh baby, let's milk it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So congrats on the meeting. <laughs> I had, dude, I got jacks four times. Really? Yeah. <laughs> nice. What do you catch with you? So the Jack-9 manages to run down Ace-10 chance. I totally agree with you. The, I mean, it was. I don't think it was a slow roll. It was more like a fun roll. Yeah, like, hey, come, come look at my... But yeah, you don't want to do that with Ace-10 because it's just so easily beaten, right? Like, I, mean, I think all slow rolls in the GPL are fun rolls. That's true. Except they are, for true. against Jungle Man, he doesn't think they're so fun. <laughs> <laughs> He's, He's had a tough start to the year. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so two games to nil right now. That's uh, San Francisco Rush up six points right now. At this point, the Moscow Wolverines can only win three points, can only take three points from this match. Uh, Chance, that match sort of went down slightly differently than the first one. What sort of differences did you notice? Um, they amped up some aggression in some spots. There was definitely some more post-flop aggression, pre-flop aggression in three bets, and uh, they just start to have a better feel for each other, at least they think. And do you think there's anything stand out to you, like a hand you would have played differently? or uh, The only one that I would have played much differently was the Jack-5 off that Dimitri had. Um, even if uh, Jonathan does have a raised folding range on the button that hand, um, he's just so sticky that for that size, he's just going to call. And uh, pocket fours, you said you might have played a little differently as mm -hmm. well, right? Uh, and what exactly happened in that hand, and what would you have done? Um, I just would have shoved in pre with the fours and hoped that uh, if I did get called, it was a flip or I sucked out, or if hopefully he would just fold and jump. Are you one of those people that think like you can never really go that wrong getting it in with a pair? Yeah, I mean, I think shoving 12 to 14 bigs on the button with pocket small pocket pairs is just very reasonable. There's just nothing wrong with it. I don't know if he was planning on raised calling, but I just don't really see why you want to trap the, the jacket offsuit. Why are you trying to trap the Jack-8 offsuit? Come on, Eric, <laughs> thoughts on that last game? I think, uh, again, three very important points here for the, for the rush. They move now seven points uh, away from a playoff spot, so Sao Paulo will have some work to do later this week. And we talk about Liv Bore and needing uh, Moscow to, to lose a lot of points. That's six points down, so London will finish the day still in first in the Eurasia Conference and a very happy uh, London team who are in the cube tomorrow, Christopher Mormon versus Scott Ball. That's right. Scott Ball is in the chat right now. I think he's trying to just get a feel for things, see how things work. Chance, one thing I want to ask you about before we get back in there. You said, I wonder if people are going to start referencing my name and then overbetting the pot. Well, Explain. I mean, if you, when he said he was like, oh, this player's so aggressive, and then he made a big value bet. So I just think when you, like, reference someone who bluffs a lot or, like, myself and then make a big value bet, I just thought that that was kind of on his mind. So there. there's no specific time when like no classic like overbet that he's referring to no no not at all just you and body general. of work yeah just probably that the three of us were that's hanging right out just your started. resume <laughs> we've got one match left to play between dimitri arbanovich and jonathan jaffe let's get back to the cube so now i'm trying just to get at least three points not to lose three zero i all want right. to bring the broom in here Come on. <laughs> a reference that Dimitri Blake wow, does not get. Focused. This could end on this hand. Jax? Yep. <laughs> How'd you know I had Jax so many times? I mean, 9 7 suit is pretty much the same yeah. hand as Jax. Smile. Heads up. I had Jack 3. Oh, man. Should I 2x 3 bet you? I should 3 bet that. Great work so of that good. steel structure, by the way. He has been. Testing that product really Problem well, is. so we're happy. It's, it's working fine. Oh I need some super glue after this match. Yeah. <laughs> I got some in the room. I'll bring it tomorrow if you guys did. Thank you, Chance. <laughs> Maybe I just fold. You like it? <laughs> I have a set. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. Yeah. Balls. Hmm. The flop bet decides the concerns deal. me. There's more hands that beat me at this point. Excuse me. You check a seven on the turn. You hope I check a river, don't you? Top pair still good. He said go to showdown. Don't worry about it. That's 1300. 
Bluff and want to get here away early. Inducing the bluff and call you with a seven. That would be a good plan. Remember, y'all use the hashtag GPL. If you want to tweet at us, keep in one eye you have King. on Twitch as well. King, what? Why is he? I don't know why your mouse doing that. What king? Good king. Good king. All right. Good king, Dimitri. <laughs> he is the king. That's for sure. I think traditionally Dimitri is going to like outclass a lot of people physically and live tells, but he might just want to play his A game here against Jonathan and try to focus. Try to get three points, a little saver. He's in danger of being shut out. He does have the slight lead so far in this match. We've game. noticed. Game. We've noticed a lot that so far this season that when a player is down two nothing, um, the fun is over. We've noticed this every match. Actually, <laughs> you can already see Dimitri. His attitude has changed this match. Um, losing nine nothing is a big difference in losing six to three. Yeah. It's a nine point gap to, compared to a three point gap. Good. No one likes to be shut out, right, Chance? Yeah, absolutely not. Uh-oh, that sounded like a needle. <laughs> no, 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 Chance has yet to play in heads-up competition, so we'll see him soon. So, Dimitri's had a pair of kings every hand so far, <laughs> including this one without a flop. Joe, I just looked at uh, Chance's uh, hand mob page and confirmed he never loses heads-up in any <laughs> tournament. I have lost once ever to uh, Mustafa. Oh, of course. I feel like we're in, like, a horror movie set. What's that? Like a horror movie, and like oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Dreyfus is like Jigsaw, you know, okay, like just okay. torturing us, and the gas is gonna come on any moment. You or gotta something. chew your own you arm off. Maybe he hates out. poker players, and this was like an elaborate scheme to get us all in here. Confirmed. Yeah. Could That's be. a possibility. And the music. I wish I met a. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And there's even an audience at home watching. This is like the plot of a horror movie. <laughs> it's yeah. also why the room's soundproof. You can cry for help all you want. <laughs> it's so big. It's a big race. Do you think it's weird when I whisper in your ear? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I think Dimitri has to make that raise there anyway, just with the board texture. It's just a matter of time before I yeah, cool you. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of hands so that again? continue. It's just a matter of time oh, yeah, yeah. before I get a cooler. Sure. Ace king of clubs. Mm -hmm. Just saying, if you recall it. Dimitri raises him back. Jonathan not folding. Biggest pot of this game so top far. Top pair, top kicker. At least he remembered his lie. And it looks like Dimitri is going to keep it up. After three batting before the flop, he's continuing here. John, it's a very modest bet. Not folding so, yeah. a pair for it's that It's a very amount. modest bet. Are you going to flop to me? I was, but I, think, gonna now, raise? I think I should raise based yeah, on, yeah, yeah. yeah, you just, you had, so many tells coming off oh, you really? there. Yeah. Okay. We'll talk about it after because you got okay. the heads up okay. coming and I, okay. Want, okay. I want you to perform. <laughs> Chance is like, Don't do not do tell, tell, him. tell him. Please do not tell him. <laughs> How much is it worth to you and Vanessa to pay Jonathan to not Russian. tell Dimitri what his tells are? Oh, God. It's so early in the season. It's too hard to say. Come ask, up with a number. Me later, ask me later <laughs> in the year. <laughs> I mean, I actually really liked Dimitri, you know, and I didn't, I was like practically sleeping when I took half the bet, so I'd love for him to win it next year. <laughs> Dimitri's definitely my favorite teenager on the circuit. <laughs> Flop's best here. Jonathan's got a no good gut shot. He's drawn dead. You want to raise? Try it. What's 5,800 do for you? That's a good one. Okay. 
You gotta tell again. Hmm? You gotta read on me again. Yeah, it was just, I mean. Okay. Glaringly obvious. You had a 10 and I can't, I can't do anything against that. I think a good prop bet for Jonathan Jaffe is that if he lost something, he would have to start a Twitter account and tweet regularly. I think it'd be fun to follow on Twitter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will admit, it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure to be a fun person to follow on Twitter. All my tweets, of course, about hockey and maple syrup, so not as exciting. <laughs> How's that? Didn't I check? <laughs> no. So, what did I do? You did I lead? There. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gets there on the end. What would it do for you if I overbet in this situation? If you chance Cornu's did? Always gonna say <laughs> That doesn't help if you're always gonna say it. For who? For you? I, li I like to hide when I'm bluffing. I wonder if I can maybe <laughs> do it from down here. You can see it from here. Oh shit, you can see the reflection, can't you? <laughs> Actually hiding. Look at that, Dimitri still wants to get a look at him. He's not gonna let him get away with this. I gotta bluff once, right? Can't just have it every time. Do it. Just do it. Thick Gravy says Give it's just a nice mistake to engage anybody who seems to be in their comfort zone having a conversation while have, playing. We have to bluff to win, right? I, for the most part, agree with that. I've seen very oh, few players who are able to look super comfortable and chat while they're bluffing. Are you just gonna snap me off with these five? Mustafa Kanitz won, though. No. No. He is. That's crazy how comfortable he can look when he's bluffing. He's a hero. Or when he sure. has it. I'm going to go hide. You so, cannot. Jonathan's yeah, made a big cannot. bet here. He did over bet. He got over. <laughs> he's if you're going to stay there, I'm just going <laughs> to come to your computer and look what you have. That's actually a urine corner. I believe that. I wouldn't yeah, stay there man. because we don't do bathroom breaks. So that's actually a pee corner. Which it, could be what he's, what he's doing. doing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me out if he calls. I can't deal the shame with looking him in the eye. I'm going to look down at the whole iPad the rest of the way if he calls. I don't like getting called on bluff. It's embarrassing. You talk too much. I sort of agree, although I like the talking. I don't think he's doing himself any favors, but hey, maybe Nothing he gets the like call that. here. <laughs> <laughs> he's breathing in his ear. It's so funny. There goes the fold. I folded. I should have told him he called. I know, right? That's right. You know what? Players at home, they're sitting, they're watching this, they're figuring out what kind of dumb can I do that was, when I am playing. Open fall. I'm sure we'll see all of this We're in future monsters. matches. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can't tell you that. You can. Ace high, no good for right should. now for Jonathan. Demon's threes. I had king's full. I think the human element makes poker so much more fun. Yeah. King or king king. King king. Nice one. Thank you. Four tray still good. <laughs> See a river. No big deal. Jonathan elects to take the free river hey. and gets there again. You hit a six. Leave it as part of your check call range. I've got like jack 10, jack of clubs I'm coming to the river with. I need to bluff that. Leave that like six, seven in there for your check call. There's another bit he could have pulled, right? Fold, don't say anything. Okay. And let's just let him stand there like a dick in the corner for like 15 minutes. <laughs> just let him time <laughs> yeah. out. That would have been pretty epic. That suggestion actually was from uh, winning 83 on Twitch. Don't want to take credit for that. So Jonathan catches up on the turn.
That's 3,200, 3,260 to be exact. Not much sense. It's a great thin value, but I'm surprised. Why not? A phenomenal thin value, but if he gets called yeah. by Queen Eye. Well, I guess he just feels like he has more 8s and 4s in his range than ace highs. He's going to call a bet anyway. Bet does not get called. Blinds at 500, 1,000. <laughs> Dimitri folds that one pre-flop. Decides to take Give a flop here with six two suited. Just say a number. First thing that comes to mind. <laughs> no numbers. Sixty-eight hundred. <laughs> Don't bet me, please. Seventy-two hundred. <laughs> Don't bet me. Seventy-seven hundred. Don't bet me. Let's bridge the middle. Chance, what do you think of this? I love it. I mean, I think Dimitri is going to be raised folding a lot. I don't know if it's going to work this time. No fold, ace high flop. Give spades. Six deuce catches just I enough of a piece to be annoying. What's that? I can see him betting here. Cards. Queen of diamonds. He looked. He looked. <laughs> now he looked. Twitch asks, what's those check marks in the it's right small. corner? This is uh, a match I'm of three games. You can. So Jonathan's won two of them so far. That's the green check it's marks kind of for him. I could have a queen. You can? Yeah, I can. Could I? Yeah. Be the last queen in the deck, but you could have it. I'm going to fire some more. I'm thinking. Nah. This one's not for me. <laughs> It'd be great if you just vomited onto the floor right there. <laughs> and a real piece of showmanship. I thought he was Jonathan go Jaffe to... pukes onto the floor. I thought he was going to go to the P corner. I think he'll be back in the P corner at some point. Defiant King says, this dude, Jonathan, is thing. awful at poker. I could not disagree more. Wow. <laughs> That's awful. I am terrible. He's only up 2 0 against one of the hottest players in the world right now. <laughs> <laughs> ah, results. You're playing results. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't fold an ace, so you know. <laughs> no. I wouldn't fold an ace. Maybe I would. I think the person who'd prefer that comment most would be Jaffe. He'd love to be told that he sucks at poker. <laughs> He loves the haters. He'd take it well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Queen I flop. These four pairs of four. Bizboss says, nice show today. Good job, guys. Thanks a lot. I think uh, Jaffe and Dimitri got to get most of the credit for this, though. Oh, no doubt. We got 40 behind? 39,990. Okay, thanks. Details matter. <laughs> Time to put some pressure. Some pressure. Pressure. Similar situation here with the sixes as fours last time, or? Ah, uh, they're 40 bigs deep now, so a lot more. Significantly different. Bend, yeah. Not saying I wouldn't do it. <laughs> Snap puts it back. <laughs> you know what? What do you think about that? And Dimitri is not giving up on this. That's over. Over the pot, I believe, this bet is on the turn. <laughs> so 
But Jonathan, now down to 36K, 61K for Dimitri. By the way, if you're in Las Vegas or plan to be at all this summer and you want to come watch the GPL live from outside that cube, if you want to see these two is this about chew the each other's thing? arms off or whatever is that's going to happen, bit. whatever bloodbath is going to take place, no, you coming. and up to six people hmm? coming now or can come yeah, watch. You have to contact at is GPL on yeah. Twitter. At GPL on Twitter if you want to come watch live. Isn't it? We do have a few more than six okay. hits, but it is very limited. Funny when Aaron Paul plays, a lot of people show up. Funny. Yeah, standing room Pretty only. That's right. Size. VIP only. Chance <laughs> Corner. Not that that. Was there? Yeah. Had a friend drive in from Arizona the best. just for the match. Wow. But like a thin trap. Mm -hmm. Like a thin trap. <laughs> like ace 10, ace jack. No. no. Thinner. Thinner than Kate Moss during Fashion Week. <laughs> ace 10, ace jack, I can't shove into those, but. I mean, I really think Jaffy's just seeing right through them on physically. Safe flop? A safe flop. Maybe he just knows Dimitri never has it. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Yep. I'm just getting in your head, man. That way you know when I checked you out of position. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I know that's I'm much tough. stronger yeah. range. You got to proceed with caution if I haven't open folded. Good stuff. Yep. A lot of people working on things that are not very applicable to poker. That's the kind of stuff people need to get a lot better at. No, it's only. Have you ever done a three bet surrender? What's that? You three bet someone out of that. position, yeah. and then you open fold the flop. <laughs> I've done it twice. Really? Yeah. No, we heard about one of them. Once in cash, oh, that was a once in tournament. One. Oh, really? He has all kinds yeah. of stuff. Tournament, surrenders. I got scolded pretty hard. They thought it was a chip dump. <laughs> Hello, Frank, who's doing this stuff? It's a really good way to make money. <laughs> and friends. <laughs> All right. Ooh, I was gonna tell you I have some of it, but that turn makes it really obvious that I have it. Well, both well, players have got a full house. I think it is, right? I can see Jaffe overbetting this. It's supposed to be a shove, yeah? From someone, yeah. me or you. do it. Jonathan jams river. Oh, wow. Gets the fold from Dimitri. Blows him off a chop. Well That's played. That's so sick. I had four. <laughs> 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 That's ridiculous. You call 18? I'm not calling this. <laughs> I love how he asked him if he would have called his size. Implying he had it. Why is it giving me the option to check on my button? But I am button, right? You didn't limp? Yeah, I didn't. I did not, hmm. I guess. Just don't check, please. <laughs> that would probably be bad for us. Let's just pretend like that didn't happen. He did, in fact, raise, it looked like. King I flop. Continuation bet. It's one of those tough textures for Dimitri to continue on. And he does not continue. You fold in behind. So for the last minute, blind's been eight and 16. Both players hovering right at their starting stacks. We got an ace versus a pocket pair. Help you? Yeah. A small one. Yeah. I'm gonna set it up for a two barrel. Four clubs out there. And 
Jonathan does not improve on the river. Excuse me. It's still good. Is that a swallowing noise we heard? I think so. The old gulp tell. <laughs> That ace ace on Twitch said, um, can't call idiot commentator, and I'm not really sure what he's referring to, because uh, I say a lot of idiotic things. <laughs> I don't know, probably one of us three, though. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to be more specific, because there's three idiot commentators, Correct. and one of us is a shot. really big idiot. Maybe, maybe. That sounds distinctly possible. Although I'm not sure blocking the nut flush matters. Also, it's, called, it's, it's spelled deep. commentator, not commentator. Just thought I would... It's, co it's commentator, not commentator. Does it help if I repeat it like that? Commentator, not commentator. Oh, it's okay. We got a new hand here. Top pair for Dimitri. It's even got creepy creaks. I love the heartbeat and the noise, though. I think it's great. The first time they heard it yesterday when uh, Fabrice shoved on Aaron Paul, it was hilarious. They both like jumped. The I had a reverse blocker. I mean, cold. I'm curious what a reverse blocker is. <laughs> I'm glad you said something because I was like, I'm, I don't want to. Um, <laughs> I guess I it's wanna... a blocker to his bluffs. <laughs> blocker to the 6 7 and 4 6. Or if a 9's the blocker, then the 6 would be the reverse blocker. Uh oh, that could be. Like, uh, it. Dimitri, <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. Dimitri up to 64. Okay, now Jonathan down Whoa. to 32. Both players hit this flop kind of hard. I didn't see the preflop action. We've got a flop when I haven't made a preflop action. That's probably why. Uh, figured it out. Pause. Let's, let's just pick it up on the flop, guys. You see a flop, right? Yeah. <laughs> let's figure out what's going to happen here. I'll just fold my button. We'll see what happens. Have seven eight here. <laughs> I had eight four. How's okay. he fold eight four there? <laughs> well, I think he just I have all the didn't feel right oh. playing the hand considering the way it went down. Yeah, maybe. And you chose that one? Oh my god. <laughs> Professional my like the way those guys handle that, just moving on. Gonna be working some kinks out here all summer. That's a great way to do it, is if the buttons just take turns folding there. Yeah. Just even it back out. These guys are so smart, I would have never thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> I would have, but I'd be afraid the other guy wouldn't want to go along with it. I'd be like, okay, now you fold too. I'd be like, nah, 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 nah. I like this hand. <laughs> I have a good hand. Yeah, so. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Sorry, man. Pretty strong hand on the board. <laughs> Not much for either of these guys. Solo. I called the turn on Lucky River for John. John's been the one hitting the Lucky Rivers mostly, so. J Marshall 98 says, looks like you have to 26? flick away both cards on the screen to fold. 26? Can they just fold Behind. one and keep playing with one card? I tried that yesterday. 24, if you six, just seven, fold eight. one, it comes back eventually. The same really? card. The yeah. same card comes back. It's not yeah. draw where you no. get a new card. That'd be yeah. great if you get a new one. I, I was, I was, I was testing it match. against the guy who designed the software, and I was like, I'm just going to play you with one card. He's like, no, you're not. He just went whoop right back on the screen. <laughs> so. Less margin for error, I guess. Lines at one and two thousand now, oh, so you. we shall be reaching the nice end of this game pretty shortly, I think. Jonathan got seven big blinds. He's got an ace. Let's go sweat. You can tell Dimitri's feeling that do? being down two Close zero in. thing. <laughs> he's needling now that he's winning hands. Jonathan's all in. 
And Dimitri is in the tank. You're in bad shape. Me? Yeah. But I have to call. Yeah. How much do you have behind? Behind? Wait, didn't I put it in? I tried to put no, it in. No, no, no. I tried. Yeah, he's not oh, all 1740. in. Oh, 1740. Yeah, <laughs> he's almost all in. He's got not even okay. a big blind left behind. 1,700,000. You got it. Okay. Well, all right. Let's try my luck. And there's the three bet from Dimitri. Jonathan no, could still fold. He didn't, though. He called. You got the idea. <laughs> Ace high. Three holding. shot bounce. Eight. Oh, there it, there it is. That's fair. Chop it up. Everyone loves a chop pot. Right one. Eight. So this match continues, and we've got another big pre-flop nice hand. I'm not nice? Yes. Ah, whoa, why? You should tell me. I told I you, I said you were in bad shape. You should tell me, you should fold, because I dominate you. I said you were in bad shape, though. But first of all, you told me. You did tell him he shape, had to right? call. Oh. Ace, queen versus king, ten. Oh, we're all in again. Oh. Uh, and and ace, queen, hold, so Jonathan hand, doubles up. At that point, it would have been like. <laughs> yeah, I don't think people would have liked that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jonathan doubles up to 15 big blinds. Seems just like an auto shove from Dimitri here. I'm not really you sure. You think I have a raise fold here? Yeah, that's what he's thinking. Sure. I could raise fold. Ace Jack wins. No, Ace Jack. Much closer. No? I can see a limp here. It's a great hint. A great spot to the trap with 10 big blinds. Good fall. Trap avoided. Jonathan folded away here again. Blinds 1,200, 2,400. Dead man walking. Yep, Jonathan's got fewer than 10 big blinds. Dimitri's got a pair. Jonathan with king nine. He's all in. And we are flipping. We are racing like Homer Simpson versus Peter Griffin. One of these two hands started with a slight mathematical advantage. Jonathan turns it straight. Doubles up again. Back to the beginning. Close to it. You don't have an ace. You bet you led when you don't have an ace? You sure I don't have an ace? Yeah, sicko. I'm sure you don't have an ace. Jonathan running fairly hot here since he's been. Still gonna rep an ace? Danger zone! Seems kinda uh, interesting plan. Meta Sheep on Twitch asks, are they actually playing poker online right in front of each other? Yeah, I guess that's one way to put it. No, we could. Dimitri's two pair, no good. Cat a canary. He's three pair, no good. And eight loses. Jonathan, I believe, Three has pairs. just regained the chip. But I too should be. Yeah. Sure has. Really made these rules sucks. So now it's Dimitri. He's got sub 20 big blind stack. I mean, I guess they both do at this point, but Dimitri is the shorter of the two. Yeah, it's anyone's match at this point. Dimitri's made a straight on the turn. I'm a believer. A good price, a good hand. 
but I believe you. Good read. No good hand, though. I don't know if King Queen's like no, a, you know, a hero fold there, but still a good <laughs> read. Good hand pre five at least. Yeah. Jonathan finally catches a better piece this time. Dimitri the bad gut shot. King high. And Dimitri's blasting away at this ace and gets the best hand to fold. Blinds out 1,400, 2,800. We are closing in on our max blind level. What is the max blind level? 2,000, 4,000. Jonathan has limped in with Jack Deuce. 8250. If I went through the call. No, that sets my limp jam up. I don't have a call versus I'm just jamming. You don't have a call range? I'm jamming versus your limp. I mean versus your raise. Sorry. Right now? Yes. All right. There's the raise. Is he really jamming? <laughs> really? I jammed. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet fake out. Awesome prank, Farva. I haven't looked at my cars, but I think you're weak. Okay. Super Troopers reference? Three betting. These aren't three betting stacks, my friend. Three bet me all in. Oh, that is a proposition. But we've only just met. Off of the pocket pair. Oh man, I had a nice one. Chance, you re nice reacted one. a little bit to what was happening there. I guess I have something to learn about how to play these fours and fives sets up. So many going to both have nice one. I mean, I you guess he was trying mm -hmm. to trap there. I mean, that's the only logical explanation. Yeah. I mean, he's not raised folding, so he must be raised calling, but I mean, Dimitri is nice flatting one. enough out of the big blind that I just don't love it. Minute and a half away from our final blind level. I got a decision. And it might be for all my chips. Okay. <sighs> Every time he's in a close spot, he tries to ask him what to do, basically. <laughs> Jonathan is all in. Dimitri is all out. Must be super frustrating to have the blinds keep going up. Your stack is getting shorter and shorter, you know, relative to the to the big blind, and it's just nine six eight tray five deuce. Well, Jonathan found a way to play the nine six. Shoved it on the open, won the nice pot. Dimitri has the slight lead right now, so he can win, and this is a big flop for him. Bottom two pair. That's an action turn. Queen of spades on the turn. Means probably nobody's folding. Twelve thousand five hundred in the middle. And Dimitri bets about half that. No, more than half that, excuse me. What was the pot when you bet that? Pot must have been twelve thousand five hundred. Got it. Nailed it. <laughs> Counted. It's easy. That seems like the long way to do things. Jimmy James 30 on Twitch says, can I ask you guys a question? Yes, Jimmy, thanks for your question. <laughs> so Dima you value about an eight? gets you counterfeited. Have Still the best hand though. Is eight part of your jam here for I wouldn't for be surprised value? if he shows for value here with six four. Horrible river. 
<laughs> so Jonathan, you're gonna call my jam? Now the significant yeah. King Nine, again. baby. No, not that. Better believe hey, it. Huh? Why is it up, by the way? Yeah, come on. <laughs> I missed the blind level. 1600, 3200 is still in there. I feel like it's coming. The end? Yes. This hand. Here it is. So Jonathan with around eight bigs. Cannot call the shove from Dimitri. Want to play limps only? <laughs> no. <ways. laughs> no. <laughs> Favorite we could do it in that case, I'm going to shove. We could do it in the first match, but not now. Fair. Jonathan all in with queen high. Dimitri has to fold the 10 high. Stuart, our little ass, why it's can't we power. see their stack size? Well, Stuart, I would recommend opening your eyes. Right under the dealer slash big blind. There we go. It's all yeah, in. Everybody's got something. 84,000 seems like more oh. than it is. Queen is holding. All right. The queen does hold, so Dmitry Urbanovich takes That's down one of the yeah. It's So good, you are. Huh? You are so good. I now kiss, so many and we'll laps. open the door. Game, like I just had jacks four times. You, you read me all the time. Yeah. Or maybe you just don't have it, but I don't know. But when I, I don't have it, you call I wasn't even looking at you. I didn't read anything. Okay. I was just yeah, fucking around. Okay. Should we go out? Uh, Let's do it. Yeah. Probably not. Okey, silly, illy, dokey. That is the end of this match between the San Francisco Rush and the Moscow. What are they? The Wolverines? The Wolverines. Someone confused me on the Twitch chat because they said they should be the Moscow Meerkats. And I don't know if they brought that up knowing something because, you know, so when we do the EPT commentary, we do it side by side with the Russians doing their own commentary. And we used to call them the Meerkats. I thought Mule was appropriate with the drink. The Moscow the Mules, that works like, too. Yeah, maybe we want to stay yeah, away from the, al the alcohol vibe. But anyway, yes, it's... Um, <laughs> Jonathan Jaffe managed to swipe two of three games. That puts uh, six points on the board for the San Francisco Rush. Three points on the board for Moscow. Uh, Eric, that's pretty important, huh, to like get something? Yeah, absolutely. We we mentioned a few times the difference between the nine, you know, the nine points and the three points. Now, in much uh, now this is non-conference play, so there's a little less effect here in the standings. Uh, but now uh, the Wolverines are just a few points behind London, where they wanted to be. And uh, it sets up a great rest of the summer for sure. And what did you think of uh, what you saw here play-wise, Chance? I mean, I think they both played awesome. I think that they were really fun to watch. Uh, Jovial as well, which was great. And it was a great three matches. Yeah, I thought that uh, Jonathan Jaffe really, uh, I'd love to see him play pretty much on any TV table. Is he just <laughs> as talkative when he is at, uh, you know, a, a game where he's maybe has more of his own money invested and or where there's more players at the table? Or is it just heads up? Um, I think he was definitely putting on a little bit of a show, but that's definitely his personality that you saw. Do you so. think when you get in there, you'll be able to show him up a little bit? Um, I don't think I have the heads-up ranges dialed as well as those two. Like, he's, you know, heads-up, sit-and-go professional. So I have to focus a little bit more and actually think. Um, I don't think that, like, he knows exactly what to shove with each stack size, like what he wants to raise, what he wants to play him, what he wants to three-bet, and I just don't know necessarily. So definitely It doesn't work on that. seem like he knows. I'm not saying he doesn't, but I like how he <laughs> sort of plays it off. Like, he doesn't really, he's like, it all seems kind of random out there, and I assume that it's all part of some bigger plan. Yeah, I think he definitely likes to uh, play the game of uh, just not really knowing what's going on, but he's definitely aware. And uh, Eric, so far, has he been your favorite of the four people we've seen? Yes, of course, <laughs> of course. He's also been one of the favorites uh, to, to all of us watching the online uh, play. He's been spectacular. The first few matches, really having fun with it. He had lost both of those matches, so heading into his match against Le Francois, he actually changed it up a bit and was very serious. Got the win, so now we're back to seeing uh, the exploited, you know, exploding uh, Jaffe. Uh, Berlin and San Francisco do meet up later this summer. I think the crowd would love to see a Jaffe versus Jungle Man match. That could be great, oh, although yes. the jungle may never exit the cube if that uh, were to happen. <laughs> or Jaffe might not. Jungle or Man Jaffe, take yeah. him out. Yeah. I am surprised that Chance is still standing here and hasn't already run in there to stop Jonathan from telling Dimitri about <laughs> his tells for this summer. Right. I don't think uh, that's necessarily something Jonathan would do. Okay, good. You're not worried about him being no. like, hey, man, let's uh, let's put you aside. Let's come here. Let me do you a little favor. What about <laughs> the fact that your partner, Olivia Bousquet, is actually waiting in the office to talk to... No, that's not true. That is not happening. Also not true. That would have been great, though. Yeah. So, that Eric, do we have... Uh, are we going to do a hand of the day today or no? I think we're... 
No, not right now, but no we will, I no think, after, right? after this. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So right now we're going to have a, a player interview. Laura Cornelius, you're down there. You're going to talk to some of the players for us, one of the players, both maybe. Let's see what's going on down there. I am indeed with both of the players uh, here today, Jonathan Jaffe and Dmitry Urbanovich. Congratulations, Jonathan, the winner of that one. Two games to one, six points for the San Francisco Rush. How was that in there? Yeah, I mean, poker's really exploding. I, uh, you know, I hope it comes back online, but uh, even in the meantime, I think it's doing really well. <laughs> you were great in there, has to say. You were chatting away. How different is that from playing a heads-up table poker tournament? Kind of a sensitive subject, I guess, but uh, I think Israel and Palestine both have a right to a state, and like you know, a two-state solution is ultimately what we're going to get. I can't deal with you. Pardon me? <laughs> it's just too much. Uh, honestly, talk us through what is going on in your head in there. I mean, it's it's a real Stop scramble to with me. all the drugs. It's just like I don't know where I am. Neurons are firing everywhere. You're enjoying hiding under there. I, I'm in the presence of a pretty girl. I get even ten times more nervous. And just you, please talk to him, please. You're proud for your six points, though. I'm happy to have played a fun match. Yeah. Right. You'll hopefully be a little bit easier to chat with. Tell us about the experience in that. Uh, the experience was amazing. I really want to uh, do it again. It was, I mean, it's something I never had before. And Jonathan just crushed me, so I want to rematch. Yeah, the, his talks all the way, you know. It's Would you say me, that? Really. No, Was I didn't crush him. I had jacks like six times in three matches. I mean, I hit a lot, and I mean, the first game was a complete joke. It was just a snap cooler. I would have I gone fold with it. about. Yeah, I mean, he was actually talking about making a fold afterwards with the second nut. So maybe uh, my table talk kind of got to me. And had I uh, not had such a cooler, it wouldn't have gone so well. We can't call it table talk anymore. Okay, yeah, whatever. It's not really a table, is it? That's true. Cube talk, horror room talk. <laughs> That'll do. All right. You've got. You guys got a busy day as well. You're going to play some WSOP events. Yeah, yeah, some of them. Yeah, what are you possibly up to even for three, three WSOP events could be, but I hope just two. Okay. And uh, in a nutshell, how would you describe your experience today? Like I said, really amazing. And I want to play all of that matches here for Moscow Wolverines. Are we yeah. going to see you back yeah. again soon? I hope so, I guess. Right. And I guess I'm going to do better. Well, three points for Moscow. Yeah, three is like, not zero. No. Still Z zero will be no good. Indeed. And uh, you are still in fifth place, but climbing up. He sets a high bar. I'd be happy with any points. I'm, I'm a happy man with three points. All right. Points are points. Well, thank you so much, Jonathan Jaffe. And uh, of course, Dmitry Urbanovich. Back to you boys at the booth. Oh, man, Laura Cornelius just having to deal with um, <laughs> both. I think there was a drug reference there and as well as uh, reference Israel to the Palestine. Israel Political Palestine. Statement. That was just fantastic, Jonathan Jaffe. That was just so well played. I don't think I've ever seen Laura so uncomfortable, and I've asked her out twice. That's right. So, yesterday. Just yeah, yesterday. Just yesterday was the second one. So good job, Jonathan Jaffe. We do have a hand of the day that we're going to bring you this time. We did not do it yesterday. I'm interested to see how this whole thing plays out. Eric, why don't you lead us through this? We will. Uh, let's, let's have it. Let's have a look, guys. Hand 19 from the uh, first <laughs> match. Uh, Urbanovich sitting with the queen eight against the uh, king queen. It's a fun man, a fun one here as we let it roll through. And we see Jonathan flops the up and down draw, the gut shot for Dimitri. At this point in our live coverage, Chance Cornu says what? Jack! Jack! <laughs> I mean, you said you wanted the first match over fast. You know, we can get them rolling, get someone see, tilted. I believe Chance said something along the lines of, Jack would be a fun card. <laughs> Both sure players was. make a straight on the turn. I mean, that really got him talking, too. Yeah. There he is now. Does somebody want to do the, the Jonathan Jaffe? We talk about dolphins. That's right. He, he does he, like the dolphins. He learned this from uh, his days in SeaWorld. <laughs> I'm not really sure. What, what should I bet here? Uh, oh, this is what he was talking about, like, how, how often Dimitri has king-queen in his range. Right. Well, I have blockers to king-queen. That's right. He does have the king-queen blockers. This right here is where we sort of got a feel for how this match was really going to go, how much chatter there was going to be, how much fun Jonathan could really have with this. It also brought out uh, the best out of Dimitri as well. We, we saw a part of him that we were not used to seeing, so that was fun uh, to see as well. Yeah, I thought it was great to see Dimitri really interact with someone. Yeah. 
And this is just one of those unfortunate situations I think you mentioned, Chance, where, you know, both guys are sort of chatty because they're super strong. I don't think Dimitri really expected to ever be behind here. I don't think he got trapped so much as much as he just got kind of cold decked. Yeah, definitely. And there's just nothing you can do in this situation. You're playing heads up. You're literally like backflip, high five your friends, can't wait to get the money in. Oh, no, I'm losing is pretty much what happened. So. And, yep, Dimitri puts in the raise here, at which point Jonathan deliberates for a while. Tries to decide. <laughs> Does a full 360 yeah. before coming back. And we're going to watch this. Now, this is not real time. It looks like a, <laughs> <laughs> a chipmunk <laughs> speed. <laughs> Alvin! <laughs> So yeah, being that we can't actually uh, hear what they're saying to each other, I think it probably is best to fly through this. Because the, uh, the reason we're showing this one, obviously, is the setup to the epic slow roll, or the uh, slow slow roll. I think he forgot he had 13 minutes left on his clock on that river. That's though. right, yeah. And so he does eventually make the call. Let's He's got the stone cold ones here on the river. He can chat all he wants. Let's count the slow roll time. It starts at 13.02. Dimitri, we're still waiting for him to make his value bet on the river, which turns out to not be a value bet at all, mm -hmm. but firing into the abyss. 28,110 all in. Okay, here we go. 1302, yeah, yeah, 10 second slow roll. Remember we were talking 20 about 20 second slow roll. It only goes 20 seconds. seconds. Come on. So that's, that's the benchmark to beat, I guess, so far right. here. Yeah. I, on the GPL Summer Series, 22 seconds is our longest slow roll so far. I have a feeling that will be beaten this year. I think so. I think yeah. I think the guilt, the goal should be to be to beat it by as few seconds as possible and leave room for people to keep building. So right. try to be like, all right, I have 23 seconds. What should I do in my 23 seconds? Exactly. That I mean, I'm, su I'm sure someone will try to shoot the moon immediately. We'll have someone do like a six and a half minute tank, like walk around the cube, spray it with some Windex, clean it <laughs> off, just you know, get their taxes done in there. But yeah, great match here uh, today. That was a fun hand, a great way to kick things off. Yeah, for sure. We love the slow roll, and uh, if you guys, you guys have anything additional to add about today's match, chance you're playing World Series today? Yep, I'm gonna go hop into 10K heads up and try my luck versus some of the great ones. Mormon versus Scott Ball tomorrow. Yes. London versus Las Vegas, a huge match for both teams. 11 a.m. Pacific time. Same bad time, same bad channel. I like it seems gonna. Ju I'm gonna jump in the 10K. I'm gonna yeah. jump in it. I'm just gonna jump in this $10,000 <laughs> tournament. I'm actually gonna jump in my uh, rental car and leave the AC on for a while after this. But uh, we're gonna, for now, we're going to kick it on down to Laura to take it home. Laura? Thank you, Joe. I'm just about learning how Jonathan Jaffe works. I'm going to be so ready for him next time he is here. Don't you worry. Him, of course, picking up the two games there, which means he won six points for his team, San Francisco Rush. It means that they don't leave fifth place, though. They will stay in fifth place in the table for the Americas Conference. Las Vegas Moneymakers still at the bottom in six with 65 points. The Sao Paulo Mets are have 82 points in fourth place. The New York Rounders with 87 points in third place. LA Sunset we saw in action. Aaron Paul taking six points for them yesterday with 101 points and still at the top. Leading the way, we have the Montreal Nationals with 106 points. They can only elevate their lead from now. So Montreal Nationals uh, looking to stay on top for the week. We have the Eurasian Conference coming for you as well. Of course, we saw Dmitry Urbanovic in action and he picked up three points today for the Wolverines. That doesn't mean they can overtake the London Royals though and take first place, who stay on the first with 97 points, but they're only two points behind. It's very close. Hong Kong Stars with 91 points. Nananoka will be back in action this week versus Martin Jakobsen. Paris Aviators in fourth then with 89 points. Fabrice Soulier was able to take three points for them yesterday against Aaron Paul. The Berlin Bears, 74 points in fifth. Jeff Gross will be back for them this week. And still in sixth place, we have the Rome Emperors uh, with 63 points. That is the team of Max Pescatori. We have had a great day here, of course, watching the action from Dmitry Urbanovich and Jonathan Jaffe. But tomorrow we will be back and we have another cross-conference match. It's Heat 
three, and we have Chris Mormon for the London Royals versus Scott Ball of the of the Las Vegas Moneymakers. That game's kicking off at 11 a.m. Pacific time, 2 p.m. Eastern time, and 8 p.m. Central European time. Please do join us back here then. We will, of course, be live from Las Vegas again for Heat 3. We've had a great day. If you've missed anything, don't forget to check out all the W's, globalpokerleague.com. You can find anything you need to know about your favorite teams and check out all the highlights and all the features. We will see you back here tomorrow.